MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago White Sox. In now, Cesar Hernandez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1-1. One -one. Is going to be a drag bunt. He gets it down. Bends down and he barehands it. It's there. He got him. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. One thing's clear, he's not afraid to pitch inside, right? One pitch ducks him away, then he comes right back with another one. So clearly this pitcher, he's not afraid to work that inner half of the plate. Mendick ranges back and he has it for route number two. Striding in for the Indians, Francisco Lindor. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 3 1. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next, the exciting E-Boy Jimenez. And he fouls this one off. And another foul ball. The 2-2. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And it's fouled away. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. 2-2 two -two one more time. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. And he finally wears him down as he strikes him out after a prolonged battle. That was good stuff. Up next for Chicago, Jose Abreu, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Hit on the ground to third. Ramirez is there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Carlos Santana. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Ball even at 2 and 2. Here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty and here's Fran Reyes stepping in. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. At the plate, Domingo Santana. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. 
three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Now at the plate, Jordan Luplo. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Very high, 2-1. and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive. But that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Last half of the second set to go. And up next, the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Struck him out. So stepping in, Nomar Mazzara. That is good. The white field. No more. Mazzara. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Two one pitch is a fastball swung on and missed two and two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. At the plate, Luis Robert. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Luplo is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. All set for the start of the inning and standing in is the DH, Bradley Zimmer. Two balls and two strikes to Bradley Zimmer. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four that strikeouts already, and there's the your first field. out. The lineup. The field. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. The Stepping seven. into the box, Cesar Hernandez will attempt to put Hernandez. the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes One to start the inning. Three. One and two now. Pitch on the way. Maybe trying oh. to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Bottom of the third now, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Leury Garcia. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. So now to the plate, Danny Mendick. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. This one's down to third. Ramirez showing off his range to Santana to get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Adam Engel. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Left side. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. The throw into second. And he is in there. Now batting. Third baseman. 
Standing in now, Johan Moncada. Fastball called strike, one and two. Change up, and that fades down and away, two and two. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. The 2 2 pitch. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. Elo Jimenez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fouled off. Bottom of inning number 3, nothing, nothing our score. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Into the box now, Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Into the box now, Francisco Lindor. Lying toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now that is the first base. Stepping in now, Carlos Santana fouled away. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And he fouls this one off. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. To Abreu for the big double play. Standing in, Fran Moraes. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. The 2-2. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Riding forward now is the D.H. Elo Jimenez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action out there, tough to decipher between the fastball and changeup. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. So here's Jose Abreu. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. There's ball four. ball four. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Now batter. The catcher, Yasmani Grandal. The set and the 1 1 pitch is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. And this pitch misses for a ball, and the Chicago catcher's back even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Three. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and now there are two away. The right fielder. No ball. Mazzara. The 1-1. One, one. Taken, ah. strike two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Tough pitch to lay oh. off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went... Ah! Looking at a fastball to end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. High in the air out towards shallow right. Mazzara's under it. He's got it one away. Digging in, Jordan Luplo comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1-1. One, one. 
No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for Cleveland so far. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. The bat, number four. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the San Diego area native Bradley Zimmer. Now Zimmer with a swing and a deep drive to right. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Now batting. Riding in once again, Delino De Shields. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. He set the payoff pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Ready now for the White Sox. Luis Robert, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Oh. Two and one to count. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in the score. Field it cleanly. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. Now batter, stop, lay already. At the plate now, Leury Garcia. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Now at the plate, Danny Mendick. Mendick. The 1-1 one -one home doesn't catch the outside corner it's a ball great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot now a rocket deep down the line in left gone into the home bullpen for a home run into the box Adam Engel and it's fouled away the one two Ball now for four innings he was great but here in the fifth he looks like a completely different guy out there that happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game so it was a strikeout okay. swinging Adam Engel is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning the one two and he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes to Shields at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Three runs already home here. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and standing in is the switch hitting second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. Gone. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Fouled off. 
Another full count pitch home. Hit hard back up the middle. He's right there. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now back in. That'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Going back is the center fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So now to the plate, Carlos Santana. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Domingo Santana. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Cam Hill enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 27, Cam. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And one of the more prolific RBI men in the league the last few years, Jose Abreu, will bat next. Now the one and one pitch. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. And there's one away. And now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Yasmani Grandal. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. In time to first, and there are two away. In now that was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Jimmy Cordero is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. The white number 50. Digging in, Jordan Luplo. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. He'll try again, one, two. hit high and deep out there to left center field left fielder looking up at the track the wall that one is out of here this game is tied into the box now Bradley Zimmer line drive to left that gets down and he's got himself a base hit Up next for Cleveland, the center fielder. Stepping in now, Delino De Shields got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Cordero primarily attacks hitters with his sinker, but not your typical sinker. He throws it much harder than most. He's a hard guy to get elevation on. In a day and age where a lot of hitters are looking to lift and separate and get the ball in the air, he has some good sink, not great sink, but he makes hitters hit the ball on the ground, and when he's on, you'll see a lot of ground balls. For the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And the runner back. 
Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Runner, runner, there runner. we go. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And now the runner's trying for third. And this one's in the dirt. And oh, the pitch is in the dirt and knocked down, so that runner will make it to third base safely. Here now the 2 2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Now the payoff pitch home. Line to the right side. The catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. Oh, and the tag will get him at home plate as that keeps the ball game tied. Digging in to try it again. Luis Robert, he's working on a one for two game so far. The 1-1 one, one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Down the third baseline. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. So striding now forward that. now, Leori Garcia. Leori. Three runs, Garcia. four hits. One error thus far for the White Sox. Liner towards second. And there are two away now. Trying to pick things up now where we left off. Second Danny second. Mendick, he's Danny. one for two in this one. Mendick. Now the three and two pitch to third. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Ian Hamilton will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Ready to begin the eighth, and next will be the switch hitting third baseman, Jose Ramirez. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Yeah. Called strike two. So a full count now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. The last at bat, Manny D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball, didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. Now batting the first baseman, Carlos Santana. In now, Carlos Santana. Two. two and two. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Robert is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first now with two men out. Captain. And digging in now, Captain. Fran Moraes. The set and the 1-1. One, one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch. 
after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. He set the 2-2. Two -two. Fouled away. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Dominic Leone is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. James McCann is up off the bench as he will pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. Now here's a shot out to right center field. He's around first, heading for two. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Now that third baseman, Yohan Moncada. Standing in now, Yohan Moncada. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Digging in once again, Eloy Jimenez. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Runners are at first and third, one away. And he fouls this one off. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Yep, money. Three and one. Here it is. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the play. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw on to first, and the White Sox come up with nothing as the inning is over. Set to start the ninth in this one. And digging in is the outfielder, Domingo Santana. Here it comes on one and one. No, There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Robert is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Jordan Luplo, who went deep last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Now this pitch is popped up. Playable for Grandal behind the plate. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Ross Detweiler has been summoned here and will try to keep this one tied heading to the bottom of the ninth. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, Bradley Zimmer. He singled his last time up. And the 2-1. Now he'll try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. 
Two out, nobody on. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. Three two pitch and that misses here ball four and of all things it's a leadoff walk that puts the winning run on base to start the bottom half. Got it back in time there and it's two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Count even at two and two. Here's the two two pitch. Popped him up. Reyes is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Leori Garcia. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Back to first, a double play. And we are heading to extra innings. We are into extra innings and standing in the outfielder, Delino DeShields. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He was a double play victim last time around. Two and one now to the tribe's leadoff man. One out, nobody on. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And that's in there. Base hit. Now that third base. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. in the air out to center field. Robert is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now in the box, Francisco Lindor. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. Unlucky that time and that ball will end the inning. Phil Maton comes on to start the home 10th, and he's just hoping to get this one into the 11th inning. Now batting, Danny Mendick. He went deep back in the fifth. Fouled off. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. Pitch is popped up. Santana has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. Stepping into the box, James McCann. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Yohan Moncada. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The set and the 1-1. 
Swings through it for strike number two. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. So now Carlos Santana. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now that at the plate now, Fran Morales hit hard toward the right side. And that is down for extra bases. And with nobody out, we'll see if they want to wave that go-ahead run home. Into score is the runner from first. It's a four to three game. Up next for Cleveland, the right fielder, Domingo. Into the box, Domingo Santana. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage there. Now a swing and a foul tip now held on to behind the plate, and they're lucky he did, as that's an important out number one. 1-1. One, one. Is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. That's the human element of the game right there. Umpires are going to miss a couple calls. It's the pitcher's ability to stay composed and grind that's going to make him successful today. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCann will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. So a runner at second, two down now. And up next, the San Diego area native, Bradley Zimmer. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Moncada is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Brad Hand takes the mound in a safe situation as he'll try and make sure this one doesn't reach the 12th. Set now for the bottom of the 11th. And up next, the exciting Eloy Jimenez. Now the one and one pitch. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it. But this ball is foul. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. So the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. Yeah, so now to the plate, Jose Abreu. Two and one the count to the White Sox first baseman. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. You're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras.
the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through and it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. 